Let's document. Join me as we cover breast ultrasound protocols. On today's edition, targeted breast ultrasound. Time to move on to a targeted breast ultrasound protocol. Note that this is for a normal exam. That means that you have evaluated the area of concern and it is normal. In a moment, we'll talk about what to do if you discover something along the way. For a targeted breast ultrasound, you're evaluating the area of concern. The most important thing when doing a targeted breast ultrasound exam is to figure out why is the patient there? Are you following up a previous ultrasound exam? Are you following up a mammogram finding? Are you evaluating a patient's symptom? A targeted exam is answering one of those questions. So determine your reason for exam, and this is going to tell you where your area of concern is, what area of the breast you should be scanning. And a targeted breast ultrasound looks at one specific area. For this example, we're using the right breast upper inner quadrant. This is where our area of concern is. If you've evaluated the area of concern and it's normal, you want to document two normal images, which is also known as a negative image, directly over the area of concern, and you wanna do that in both radial and anti-radial planes. And you're gonna annotate this as which breast you're in, the clock location, the distance from the nipple, and the transducer orientation. An example of labeling of this would be right breast, two o'clock, four centimeters from nipple, radial, and right breast, two o'clock, four centimeters from nipple, anti-radial. After you have taken two specific negative images directly over the area of concern, you next want to evaluate the entire quadrant that the area of concern is in. For this example, I wanna evaluate the entire upper inner quadrant of the breast and you want to scan that in both the radial and the anti-radial planes. Once you've determined that that quadrant is completely normal, meaning you did not find any pathology, you wanna to document to your radiologist that not only have you evaluated the area of concern, but you've also evaluated the tissue around it, which is that quadrant. So you want to take two negative images of that quadrant as well. You're gonna annotate these with which breast you're in, the quadrant you're in, and the transducer orientation. For this example, I would say right breast, upper inner quadrant radial, and right breast, upper inner quadrant anti-radial. Interested in more videos on ultrasound? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and tune in for our next video on Wednesdays.